Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. Um, as always, before I start the video, I do I would like to say if you guys can please give me a like. It definitely helps push my videos out um, to other people that enjoy them as much as you guys. Um, you, you know, and it also you know helps grow my audience, grows the YouTube channel, um, and it and it helps me just kind of make more videos every single day. You know, the more likes you guys give me, so the more likes you guys give me the more chances are, are I'll probably come back and make more videos for you guys, right? Um, with that being said, uh, let's go on to start with today's video. Uh, so I do have currently right now, um, I am looking, I will be looking at the SPX, I will be looking at the NASDAQ, the dollar, and I will also be looking in, I think, to a couple of other tickers. I actually did get a lot of um, a lot of uh, comments yesterday for people that were requesting um uh, TA. So for those, I'll probably uh, sneak those in sometime at the end of this video, but because usually the most important part of these videos is actually trying to figure out what's going on with the market first, right? So um, yesterday, um, again, I told you guys that I was pretty bullish towards the 395 area. Um, I think this was all yesterday's movement. Yeah. So we did actually ended up, we actually ended up bouncing off these lows of 391, 390-ish. actually kept bouncing back up to 395 and again, doing the same exact thing. Again, looking at that double bottom power pattern on the hour, you have a double bottom here where you have a low of 3911, and then you also have a higher low of 3913. So you guys know how much, you know, I, I very rarely trade double bottoms, but when, it, when I do, it definitely has to be when the second peak low is a little bit higher than the first peak, right? So as of right now, for today, I'm definitely looking at more of a bullish sentiment. Um, we closed the perfect entry on the eight hour. So if you would have actually taken this long here on the perfect eight hour entry, you would have ran this up from 393 up to 394 to, to where we are now. Um, I did start a new account, <sighs> a little cold. I did start a new account. Um, as some of you guys know, my other account is a lot more than this. <laughs> I started a brand new one yesterday just to see if I can do it all over again. Um, for those of you guys that asked, um, that amount that I have, you know, I'm not going to say it, but uh, that amount that I have, I actually started, I actually grew that from around, I think 2K, 4K, I don't remember. It was it was definitely under 5K. I grew that from like two, $4,000 to where it is now. You guys can actually go to my previous video yesterday and find out what that amount is. But I grew that from, I think, $2,000, $4,000. And I'm doing that the same thing with this. Um, transferred over um, a thousand, I actually thought I had a thousand bucks. Um, what is it called that I transferred over? I guess I only transferred 984. Um, but that's completely fine. I thought I had more, I thought I had a, what is it called? I thought I would transfer over, uh, more, but anyways, I started off the account with 984. This is going to be what the, my account looks like right now. And then I'll slowly start growing this one as well and see if I can do it again. Right. I just, I want to know if that, if that first, if that first growth was in just a, a fluke <laughs> anyways getting into the video i am definitely um gonna be bullish i'm, I'm definitely still pretty um, i'm pretty bullish right now um again from yesterday's video i think overall movement if we close that week bearish right so we're still on that bear weekly chances are high chat there's a very high probability that we close this bearish um if we do end up running super hard sometime today, tomorrow, um, which I think we can, um, you might actually cancel that weekly and not actually close it. As of right now, the sweet spot I think is 39.45 where the SPX should close tomorrow. Um, and that's where I think we'll actually close that week bear trigger, which is what we're looking for ideally, right? Um, you are, you did, you are bouncing off the 390 level. So as of right now, like I said, usually what happens on the eight hour triggers is you ended up, you end up running a pretty decent amount, especially, you know, right after, so on these eight hour triggers, you have a run from 395 to 408. This was actually the Powell push. Uh, I think this was actually, was this CPI? Was this CPI or the, I think, I forgot what this push was, but this, I feel like this might've been a November 30th. So what happened? Something happened on November 30th where we ran this much, right? Again, you know, on these eight hour triggers, you tend to have pretty big pushes. So 394 to 398, so a $4 push right here. Oh, this was actually CPI. There we go. So CPI, you had a 375 all the way up to 387. So a full $12 push. Here, you actually had a 372, 373 to 376. So like another $4 push. Again, this eight hour trigger, you had a 380 all the way up to 391. So an $11 push. So again, these pushes usually tend to be pretty, pretty historical, right? 364 
all the way up to 374 and $11 push. So definitely from these lows, I am expecting somewhat, uh, I'm looking at a 397, just because that is like the low end of it, um, up to up to highs of 403 for today, right? Um, so again, you open this, you actually close it here, right? But you're actually uh, on this opening candle because of the historical pushes, you actually have a really good historical um, you know, uh, probability that we're, we can actually see a 403, SPX today upwards of a 397. So my range for today for the SPX is definitely going to be around 397 to 403. That's going to be the range for today for myself. Um, that's what I'm going to be looking at. Um, the same thing for the NASDAQ, right? I'm not going to go too into detail with the NASDAQ. NASDAQ actually is bouncing off that break of trend, right? So essentially what happened is you actually ended up, you know, you, you broke this trend from, let's say what right here, you broke trend, came down, you were testing, probably going to maybe somewhere like this again. Um, and I, I personally think you're gonna run towards CPI just because we had, we did, the CPI was at 7.7 .7 last month. Everybody thinks that the next CPI is probably gonna come in lower, at least that's what the, 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 the thought process is right now. So I am definitely bullish towards CPI. That's so fundamentally, I do think, well, we have a lot of uh, bull pressure on our side. But you did close an eight hour bear trigger on the DXY right? And right now you're about to close a bear trigger on the hour. So I'm definitely thinking you can definitely see these uh, a little bit push uh, a little bit more of a of a you have more bear pressure on the dollar right now. And you're starting to see a lot of weaker movement on the dollar, as well as on the daily itself, right? So definitely look and again, when you close these daily bear triggers, you know, when you, you start seeing these pushes down. So I think today we can actually push significantly down on the dollar uh, maybe back to somewhere like a 104.8 or something right that's what i'm thinking can actually happen on the dollar um so I, again i do want us to you know <laughs> you know i guess regardless of position it doesn't really matter um but as of right now on the weekly it's, it's really the weekly chart is more important to me than anything else the weekly does look like we're we are nearing a, a, bear, a bullish close on the dollar right the last time we closed the bullish close, the perfect entry in the dollar, you ended up running from, you know, the historical pushes that have been, you know, super ridiculously high. So 90 bucks all the way up to 93. So like a $4 push. So this would definitely, if we close up a bull weekly on the dollar, we can definitely see another 109, right? But as of right now, even on the SPX, right? If we don't close that bear weekly this week, uh, I can I can definitely see us closing us closing it next week or the week after, right? But again, this all really depends on CPI. I, I do think we're gonna be running towards CPI, so everything is bullish. Um, you know, we I, my, these are probably my these are my positions. They're probably up right now. Uh, there we go, two forty. I'll probably leave these open for today because I do have an open target of three ninety seven is what I think it was. Uh, 397 to 403 um, and then right here um, we do have a couple of people who have requests so stay lifted requested Pepsi and IBM I'll probably just look at a uh, Pepsi really quick TA on Mara um, I'll probably save this one and the doggy one for a different video just because it's crypto Nvidia cool and I guess that's a <laughs> I mean that's I guess that's the amount if you guys are looking for how do you get in the patreon um, yeah I haven't posted the patreon in a while your, 20, your 320 prediction looks more likely now. Yeah, it still does. I still think 320 is gonna is, is still very probable. Um, again, as long as that weekly close is better, then we're good. So for today, I'll do a Pepsi and Nvidia TA. So let's go. Let's look into it. So Pepsi. Haven't looked at Pepsi in a while. Pepsi. Oh, by the way, I am a little bit bullish on crypto. Just a quick quick heads up. In about three hours, if we do close bullish, uh, I will be a little bit bullish on crypto towards like like 17.5 or something so let's look at pepsi really quick i'm gonna do that for a different video pepsi where are we on pepsi 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 i am bearish pepsi it looks like i am gonna be bearish on pepsi you do have this perfectly you, you do have you know an extremely you know accurate historical play here on 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 pepsi so let's actually start with running our our trend setup see now I'll just do that that's perfectly fine i think you're actually on the high trend here you actually have a pretty good high trend here yeah very high trend here yeah i would i would definitely short pepsi here all day long 
I would definitely short it. It does look like there's a really high chance that you actually close bearish here on Pepsi. So I'd definitely be shorting this all the way down, possibly to like once back to like 166 or so. I mean, if you're looking at if you're looking on the higher time frame, right? If you're looking at the weekly, you tend to go from trend to peak low in about 48 days, right? So high, peak low, 49 days, trend high to peak low about 20 days, about 20, right? So 23, 22, 19, so you're actually slowing down. So you, the amount of days is actually still pretty similar. So you can definitely still expect the $49 drop, but it seems like you're dropping a dollar on, you're, you're actually dropping a dollar less. So if I had to make an actual forecast, I'd say within 49 days, you drop around 18 bucks, right? I would probably set this up like this. I would probably forecast it. Um, somewhere along this line which actually looks pretty accurate because if you actually run this trend right if you run this trend line like this look at that if you run this trend line it actually pushes this a little bit lower so 49 like right there right so i'd actually run this a little bit lower roughly again 20 bucks but i actually do think you know pepsi can is probably going to come down to this range of 166 167 in at for january the early january so i'd probably say probably say around this area around this general area for you know for early january and stuff if we actually do close bearish right if this closes bearish i do think pepsi again you you broke high trend you're coming back down i do think you're going to come all the way back down roughly to 167 or so by J january 9th so definitely expect it to come back down do we come back lower now we're actually going up higher so we're actually pushing a little bit harder now on the spx i do expect things to accelerate so we'll see what's going on the video let's go in the video the video again you know it's usually it's usually a one-to-one -one forecast with what's going to happen on you know on tech and oh man it's already five i gotta go run man so usually what's going to happen on tech and on um like the spx if the general market direction is up i would definitely think that the rest of the market is going to go up as well so as of right now nvidia does look like it's probably going to go back to fill this gap at 171 don't really need to do too much ta on this um you know i do think it'll push to 171 maybe a little bit higher to this major trend at 174 i think which is a trend that was started back on oh yeah, that's a big trend let me see big trend yeah that's a that's a that's a big trend back from november 2021 <laughs> so yeah that's that's when the initial drop started happening but again if this actually runs up to trend at 174 it would be you know i'd be shorting this all day long because again you do have that weekly bear trigger that wants to hit last time you actually hit that trend mark you went from 191 all the way down to 109 so you dropped 90 dollars right essentially or if you took it on the weekly close, you would have taken it from 163, you know, all the way down to to 108. So like a 60-ish dollar drop, right? So we can kind of sort of expect the same thing here. You might actually push up to 174 and then drop from here like another 60 bucks, which would take us to like 110 or something, right? So like around here. So you might actually, this might actually end up being maybe the last drop. You might actually do like something like, something like this. You might run up to trend like this. Um, something like that push up here and then break that trend up right or if things actually get really bad you just go all the way down right but as of right now i do see the video going back up to like 174 possibly you know to fill the gap that's up there possibly to 172 174 to trend but on trend if we have a bare weekly close i will be shorting this all day so with that being said thank you guys everybody for um the continuous likes and support for those of you asking for the Patreon, I'll definitely, uh, I'll do, I'll definitely post it on the in the, I'll definitely post it on the. Oh, you know, we're starting to reject there off the off the three ninety five. I should I be worried? Should I be closing my longs? I don't know, because it doesn't look like it wants to. I want to see how this gets handled here. So we're on the minute. I might just keep track of this on the minute. Again. Still, we did close that bear trigger on the hour, so I want to see what happens. But I mean, you could be starting a new trend here, and you could bounce up really hard. And I do have 280, 274, might be a little bit less, 275. I might just adjust my stop loss that way. I can, I can, I can, you know, I can grab some, 
um i can grab some profit and stuff i might just close this out completely we'll see <clears throat> but as of right now like i said historically a uh, very high chance that spy runs up to 397 uh you know four what did i say like 403 or something right so i'll see you guys later bye bye